uh, to a storm that is actually the center is a little bit out of frame, but skies are getting darker and for good reason. The line of storms have been so slowly moving now is uh, swinging across just the area south and west of Gaithersburg, moved through Rockville, very heavy rain across the river into the Old Dominion, and a little farther south along the line, some more heavy rain from Catlett, a little bit farther south into Remington, and again, moving generally to the east at a very slow rate of speed. So the uh, Metro Washington area, well, we're kind of out of it for another hour or so, maybe an hour and a half, so it's going to kind of slow poke its way across the uh, area through later tonight, but we're kind of getting guess by 10 o'clock or so, it should be uh, pretty much far out of the metro area south and east of town. And then overnight, the pattern will uh, change to partly cloudy skies with drier air moving in. 75 right now in Gaithersburg and Frederick. They've been cooled by the rain. The same at Washington and Dulles. No uh, heavy rain yet at Manassas. We know that because it's still 84 degrees. 87 at Andrews and Reagan National as well. Fredericksburg, the hot spot, still at 92 degrees. Dew point temperatures, the way we measure moisture, are into the 70s. And when you have that combined with temperatures in the 80s to near 90, that's where we get the ultra muggy feel. But look what's happening behind this line. Uh, Hagerstown, 59 degree dew point, 54 in Cumberland, and that's the drier air that's headed here, not only for tomorrow, but for the next few days. The storms will end later tonight. will be breezy with some clearing skies and temperatures cooling to 59 to 69 degrees by tomorrow morning. The hot stuff will get pushed farther and farther to the south and east, and the slightly cooler air that we see, low 70s, that's going to kind of pinwheel back to the northeast, but will be seasonal in mid 80s, low to mid 80s the next few days, all because of high pressure building in. That will give us the fresh breeze and the drier air. So for tomorrow, a whole different kind of day than we experienced this day. It will not be humid and it will not be hot. It'll be seasonable. 65 in the morning, 81 at midday, and mostly sunny skies continue through the afternoon in highs of 85 degrees. And the next seven days for you, about 86 tomorrow, less humidity. We'll run the string. Beautiful weather. We hit Saturday. Temperatures come up. Humidity comes up. Sunday and Monday around 90 with chances of daily afternoon showers and storms. That is latest. Maureen and Robert. Thank you. Uh, not exactly football weather, but doesn't matter. Exactly. And I think uh, RG3 needs a friend right now. Oh, really? And only you oh, can dear. cheer him up. Oh, well, I'll do my best. <laughs> How can I help? We, we <laughs> all will. Okay. Uh, on Monday, it's Monday and it's the talk of the town. Thursday's debacle with RG3. But are you surprised? And wait till you hear Jay Gruden, what he had to say about possibly uh, trying to sabotage RG3's career. That's next in sports. Long Fence is celebrating 70 years as a family-run business with a 25% anniversary sale.